TFNN Headline News Update. Here's Tom O'Brien. Welcome, folks. We have the Dow Industries up 26. You got the NASDAQ up one. S&Ps are up two and a half. Flat market basically out here today. You have the uh, gold contract up $2.50, trading at 1277 an ounce. Silver down three cents, $16.62. Platinum is flat at 910 an ounce. We have the uh, light sweet crude market. We had, uh, we had the numbers out here today. You had a uh, from a high to a low of about a dollar. Right now, you're down 53 cents, $49.88 a barrel. Notes, 10-year note flat, 125.10, 30-year bond down two ticks, 152.18. Now, with both notes and bonds have done, folks, they rejected lower price yesterday, came back. It looks like they're building cars. They're going to try to basically get on the uh, higher side of this ABC structure on the way down. King dollar. King dollar down 134 ticks, trading at 93.280. King dollar is a major failure out here. Uh, what you have with King dollar is this, is that you had a swing point up here. Well, you still have that swing point up here uh, at August 16th. Uh, the swing point we're talking about is 93.840. Bottom line, try to make it up there the last two days. Couldn't handle it as we go topside. Now what you have, you back down. You back down with light volume, so bottom line, it's going to oscillate around here. We'll see whether it's going to make a run once again. It's pretty amazing that it couldn't even make that run for the 93.840. More than likely, what we're doing there is that we're setting up a very large ABC structure on the way down uh, that looks like it wants the 88 area. The euro is trading at 117 and three quarters to the U.S. dollar. The yen is out here at 112 and three quarters to the U.S. dollar. We go take a look at the uh, S&P. Bottom line, you're at an all-time high. The SPY is trading at a price point of 253.16. NDX 100 still can't handle it. It's pretty wild watching this NDX. It's hanging at the top. This is the third day we've tested up at this level here. Um, on Monday, we got to a price point of 146.17. Couldn't handle it. Yesterday, you got 146.06. Couldn't handle it. Today, you got 146.34. Still couldn't handle it. Uh, volume dies on the vine each and every day. Now, that being said, the longer that you do stay at these highs, the more probability is that it's going to basically get up into that high or actually break that high. You stay right there, folks. We'll be coming back for the last hour of trading. And then, of course, uh, there's going to be some earnings after the close out here today. Dow Industrials are up 26. NASDAQ is up 2.5. S&Ps are up 2.5. Coming right back, folks.